Hey guys, what's up? Today I wanted to make a good tutorial video how to set your Mac up with your Apple TV because for some reason when I try to do this, I couldn't find a good tutorial online so I had to just figure it out myself through forums and whatnot. So this is a proper video tutorial. It's really simple, but there are a lot of problems that I encountered that I'm going to teach you how to fix throughout this um, throughout this video. So. If it works perfectly for you, you could probably stop this video as soon as you figure out how, how to do it. But if you do experience problems, like let's say your audio doesn't come through or it doesn't take up the entire screen, stay, stay through the entire video and I'm going to tell you how to deal with that. So let's get started. How do you get your um, what you're, you're trying to stream onto your TV? Um, as you see, there's your Apple TV menu right now, but you want to go back to your computer you want to go to your system settings when you hit the Apple um, and then you want to go to display settings. Right here there's something called AirPlay Display. It's going to give you the option of Apple TV when your Apple TV is already on, of course. And then that happens. Uh, you're going to see um, it, cha it changes the resolution at 1080p. You're, if you're on a 1080p monitor externally then nothing will seem different but if you're on a MacBook Pro or an iMac your resolution you're gonna see like black bars up top I know you can't see it now but your resolution is slightly going to be different and then voila it's gonna be up here so awesome I could stream anything on Netflix but here's a few problems that I encountered when um, okay you know what let's say I wanted to play uh, a video actually I'm not gonna play a video just for copyright reasons <clears throat> let's say I wanted to play a video and the sound was still coming out of my computer, um, which it isn't now because I guess I haven't backed out of my previous uh, audio setting. Um, so it's, right now it's set up correctly so that it would come out of my computer speakers. What you want to do is, let's say if your audio is not uh, hooked up to your TV, you want to go to your audio settings and then you want to select, yeah see it's selected to, uh, to the Apple TV, you want to select that. Um, before it would be at your internal speakers and then you want to select Apple TV. There's a problem that some people have where when they try to select the Apple TV icon or the whatever the output source, oh, want to make sure you click output when you select Apple TV, not input. There's a problem that people have when they select it and that problem is it's not selectable. Like they click it and then it, it goes back to internal speakers. You can't select Apple TV. When I did my research when this happened to me, people said you have to restart your computer and that's the way to fix it. That's a pretty lousy way to fix a problem, don't you think, that Apple has? This is a bug issue that Apple hasn't even fixed yet um, because this happened to me and this is probably is going to happen to you the first time. Obviously, it's not happening to me this time, but it, it might happen to me again. So you have to learn how to fix it. What you have to do is you have to exit out of your full screen and then you got to start over but what, before you start over before you um, do the steps to put um, the the uh, display onto your TV you have to select the Apple TV um, output before before you start that so so that your audio goes to the Apple TV before your video does so there's an there's ha that's how you fix that there's another issue with the display sometimes the display the first time for me, and this happens to other people again, I had to figure out how to do this. The display only takes up a quarter of the screen. And that's really lame, right? There's a way to fix this. What you have to do, because that's just another bug, it's just another stupid thing that Apple hasn't fixed. Um, you have to get, get off this. You have to turn AirPlay display off. And then, see, so you're back at your um, menu. Forgive me if this starts playing something on my iTunes library. It's not supposed to but for some reason these remotes work on Macs too. Um, so you're gonna go, you're gonna scroll your settings, you're gonna hit settings, then you're gonna go to your audio video settings. What this is gonna do is you're gonna scroll down to adjust for AirPlay overscan. For me and for you, it's probably gonna be on. What you wanna do to fix the problem if your screen isn't taking up the entire space, you want to select off. So once you do that, it's going to work and it's going to be full screen. So again, uh, I'm going to show you how to, you know, select Apple TV 
and then it just started playing a song. Um, Arctic Monkeys, good band. Um, so that's how you get your display on your Apple TV. Uh, if you want to stream movies, if you want to show pictures, Skype calls, it's all inclusive. Um, obviously, there's no way to hook up a microphone to your TV, um, but you could always use an internal microphone plugged into your computer if you want to do Skype calls. That's how you do it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. And uh, if you like this video, please leave a like rating. It will tremendously help me out. Consider subscribing. Until next time, peace out. Deuces.